Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Legacy Drag Strip. And this decal set includes three decal sheets, two on foil and one on clear, and you also get five little plastic wheel inserts. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Legacy Drag Strip both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Review. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, drag strip looks great, though he is very, very yellow. Taking a closer look at the figure, Great paint applications here on the head. He's got a purple forehead, purple ears, I guess, silver face, red visor, and red helmet. Nice silver paint applications there for the chest engine area. Some gold paint right there along the chest as well to break up all the yellow. And really, that's about it on the main body. Got some yellow stripes there on the arms and some gold, red, and half of a Decepticon insignia up there on the pylons. Now, of course, he's got the black wheels, and that's pretty much it. Underneath the feet, you got some red striping and gold as well. Love the guns. The guns are a nice painted purple and black. So there you go. There is one final look at drag strip in robot mode before and after. Drag strip doesn't look so much like a lemon now, thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the figure, starting here with the head, he gets a brand new red chrome visor that looks amazing. I like how it's not the same color as the rest of the helmet now, and it really catches the light. Hey, if you do it just right, it looks like Knight Rider. <laughs> uh, you get red decals here on the chest and a Decepticon logo right there. You actually get two of those. So you can put those wherever you want. Right here on top of the chest in front of the head, he gets these new gold decals that continue the gold from the cockpit on up and over, along with some silver decals right there. Here on the shoulder pylons, he gets these little black carbon fiber decals. You see drag strip there on the side of the chest. Moving on down to the waist area, he gets a decal for the belt buckle and there on the sides. Moving on down to the legs, you get vents on the knees, little purple decals right there. Purple decals here on both forearms, and he gets crosshair decals for his blasters. Now, those are supposed to go on the other side, but I put them on the front, so hey, you can see them. He also gets these red decals right here on the other side, on the <laughs> right across from the wrist that are either rocket pods or lasers. So yeah, I think drag strip looks awesome now. So much better than he did straight out of the packaging. So there you go guys, drag strip in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, drag strip is a lot more colorful than what he was in robot mode. Taking a closer look at the vehicle, you've got the gold canopy here on top, the red stripes along the side. Here on the front spoiler, it's gold, red, and with a big purple Decepticon insignia. You got some engine showing through there on the cockpit, but I guess that's a control panel now. And you got drag strips, hollow head right there with the black, red, and purple. On the back, you have the engine itself. I love the silver paint job on the engine. I'm mean, both for Vehicle and robot mode looks so good. Back here on the rear spoiler, you've got gold with red stripes, and that's about it. Of course, the wheels on drag strip look horrible. I hate these clip-on wheels. 
but that is what the little plastic wheel inserts are for. And before we get started on the after, let me go ahead and show you how you apply these. Now they come on a little sprue, so what you wanna do is cut, if you look right here, you wanna cut right along that edge. So I've got my little nippers here, nice and easy. And if you look, there is a raised edge and a flat edge. So now, what we're gonna do is let's remove a wheel. Pops off really easy. Take your insert, make sure the raised edges go in first. If I can get that in camera. And just squeeze that in. Make sure it's good and flat. So, there you go. Now, you've got your decals. This is the decal right here for the wheel. And peel that off. And get that lined up just right over the insert. And now after you get the decal applied, you just put the wheel back on drag strip. And there you go, much better looking. So there you go guys, one final look at drag strip in vehicle mode before and after. Drag strip gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his vehicle mode. And as you can see, I've got the wheel inserts and decals on and they look great. Now, once you get those inserts in, you also wanna make sure and press them down as far as you can, get them inside the wheel. The decal covers the insert only, so you don't have to worry about it overlapping on the wheel itself. There's also some great looking decals there behind the wheels, and I left them off on purpose on this side so you can take a look at them. I mean, that's a lot of nice detail that's actually getting covered up by the wheels, but still, it's really cool that Toy Hacks added those. On the front of the vehicle, he gets this new carbon fiber decals right there. A number one on each side of the spoiler. Here on the canopy, he gets carbon fiber decals as well. And I like the black because it's a nice throwback to the original Generation 1 drag strip. There's also new gold decals right here to extend the gold here along the top. Let's see, he gets drag strip decals on either side of the cockpit. New red decals right here and a Decepticon logo. Moving along the side, he gets decals right there, right before you get to the rear wheel. Number ones, they're on either side of the engine. And he's a race car, he has to have his sponsors. You've got wash and roll car wash there on either side which is a great throwback to Marvel Comics G1 and the awesome Grease Pit decal set that Toy Hacks put out. Also right here, you see Robbie the Robot, the Toy Hacks mascot. And here on the other side, well, it's Patriot Prime. And I tell you guys, it is so surreal putting my decals on a Transformer figure from Toy Hacks. This is actually my second decal, my first one, was for Generation 2 Starscream. I wonder why Toy Hacks always has me sponsoring Decepticons. Moving on here on the spoiler, there's new gold and red decals that go here on the top edge to extend the factory coloring up and over. And that is about it. Oh yeah, underneath, there's a lot of the pin covers, a lot of yellow pin covers. Those all go underneath the vehicle. You've got one, two, three, four, and a real big one right there. So there you go, guys. Drag strip in vehicle mode after. Toy Hacks could teach Hasbro a thing or two about de-yellowing a figure. I think drag strip looks great now. He didn't get a lot of decals, but what he did get really adds to the look of the figure. I think the robot mode looks great. Vehicle mode looks great. Love the wheel inserts. They really help with those damn clip-on wheels that Hasbro just absolutely seems to love now. Plus, I gotta give Toy Hex a big shout out for once again including me in their decal set. I am honored and 
humble. So yeah, if you have a Transformers Legacy drag strip, I highly recommend this decal set because man, it greatly improves this figure. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have a new super thanks button, thanks to YouTube, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing in. Hoo-ha!